Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Uh, Eulise, I don't know, I know that you are sick, but can you confirm please if you can listen to me? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello guys. Can you hear me? Can you confirm please if you can hear me? Can you listen to me, everyone? Yes, good yeah? evening. Oh, good great. Teacher. Excellent. I'm glad you can hear me. I'm having issues with my app, so I'm glad that you can hear me. How are you, everybody? So, so, teacher. So, so, do you feel tired? Yeah. Yes, uh, I am headache. Oh my gosh, uh, you have a headache. Yes, I, uh, I'm so the last Friday uh, today. Really? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, do you take medicine? No, no. No, uh, I I don't I don't go. You don't go to the doctor yet. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I I hope you get better soon. Try to take some pills. Okay, maybe that can help. All right. All right. Very good. And you guys, how are you? I can see Edwin. How are you, Edwin? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent, pretty good. Ready to talk in English, right? I'm ready. <laughs> Excellent, very good, very good. And well, I see Elisa is going to be a listener and Carlos is going to be a listener too. It's all right. Uh, thanks for informing. Okay. And well, I'm waiting for your classmates. Oh my goodness, where are they? Uh, well, Guys, remember that this is the last week. So my recommendation, please, is try to connect on time, okay? Uh, lately, you have been connected like a little late. So let's try to be on time. I know that you have a lot of work, a lot of responsibilities, but remember that Zoom is going to take your attendance and it's going to count every single minute. So be careful with that. Now, I can see only, well, I can see Osman and Boris with the camera on. Thank you, guys. And Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great. How about you? Teacher, I'm fine. Thanks. Yesterday, I came inside a uh, platform. Ah, you couldn't enter to the platform. I couldn't 
enter. Yes, I couldn't enter. And why? I mean, what message did appear? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't understand. But uh, uh, yesterday I tried uh, inside mm -hmm. uh, to receive English class, but, but, I, but, I, but, I, but, I, but I couldn't. Okay. I don't know why. So, are you talking about the platform, Zoom, or the playlist no, on Zoom. YouTube? No, Zoom. Zoom. Okay. Zoom. Um, yesterday, at the beginning of the class, <laughs> eh, I had issues with the platform. Okay. Eh, with my audio, it wasn't working. The app was like frozen, so I had issues with the app. So... I enter basically like five minutes later, something yes, like that. Yes, I know. Uh -huh. But but now we we are here. We are okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, I don't know what happens because the app is updated. So I don't know. Maybe the app wants vacations too. <laughs> uh -huh, maybe. <laughs> could be. Could be. Okay. Welcome everybody, and thank you so much for being on time. Remember that we are basically, guys, about to finish this level. Are you ready for the next level? Yes? I'm sure about it. I'm sure about it, teacher. Hey, only Osman is ready for the next <laughs> level. And the rest of you guys? Are you ready for the next level? Yes? No? A little bit? Oh, okay, Osman. Maybe just you will go to the next level. <laughs> okay, I am the winner. <laughs> You're the winner. Rafael. I'm going to be. I'm going to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Rafael, how are you, Rafael? Hi, teacher. Are you ready for the next level? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. You don't sound so confident, but... <laughs> because on. I'm tired. I know, I know. But come on, guys. You have to be optimist. You have to be confident about yourself. Okay. Welcome to the class, everybody. Thank you so much for being on time. Um, I received some observations from you guys. Um. <laughs> I received the observation that you keep the camera on most of the time. I mean, the camera off most of the time. Uh, remember that the classes are recorded so um, people can watch the class and verify if everything is okay. So one of the observations for this group, unfortunately, is that um, there are many people with the camera off all the time i mean unfortunately guys if you watch the class you will see that a few people keep the camera on every day and during the full class the rest of you i understand the ones that are listener but sometimes even if you are not listener you keep the camera off so that is one of the observations another observation is <laughs> that I have a lot of listeners in all the classes. I know, guys, and believe me that I trust you. I totally understand that you feel tired, that you feel sick, eh, that you have to work. But what happens if every day I have more than five listeners, five listeners or more, and... Uh, Another observation is the lack of participation, okay? Uh, if you review the classes, if you watch the videos, you will see that few people participate, okay? It's like the same people are the ones that are always participating. And the rest is like they are not there. Sometimes I say your names and nobody answers, or uh, sometimes you answer only when I ask directly to your name. So remember that those are aspects that are being evaluated, okay? So I'm 
telling you these observations, guys, because you are a group, okay? We are here together. What happens if they decide to close the group? What will happen? Imagine. That means that the responsible people will be like, there are no groups for you guys. You had to wait to open another level for you. So um, I'm giving this observation because remember, we are here to learn, okay? So, um, no es un regaño, right? It's just an observation because I really uh, want the best for you, okay? Y si las personas del Insafor están dando este tipo de observations, I mean, <laughs> we need to try to avoid issues, right? So, uh, this is the last week, remember, okay? But... I think that you are ready for the next level. Yes or no? Or, yes. or not? Yes. Ah, yes. okay. So imagine, what does it mean? That for the next level, ¿a qué grupo creen que van a estar así como en la mira? <laughs> well, you, right? Or, because, or yes because they want to see if they improved or if you are just the same, okay? So uh, please guys, keep in mind this. Try to keep the camera on. Again, if you want to be listener, it's all right, but don't abuse of that option. Be sure that you will be listener. I mean, when it is absolutely necessary, okay? And when you are here in the class, guys, please try to participate all the time. Uh, I try to have a dynamic class. I try to uh, have a lot of speaking, but even though there are people that never talk, okay? So this is an observation with a lot of love, <laughs> okay? Because I don't want you guys to have issues in the future. No quiero que les vayan a cerrar el grupo o que les vayan a llamar la atención por algo así, okay? Así que keep in mind that. Any questions? Any comments that you may have? For me, teacher, thanks for for your uh, your suggestion for us. Okay. I know you are the teacher. Uh, we are your team. Uh, you you want the better for us. Uh, I think we have to collaborate uh, with you and with us. With us. Exactly. Uh, no, I think we, we have to 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 do the correct. Yes. We have to we we had we we had to try, try. Thank you, Osman. And yes, guys, remember that this is for yourself because I mean you are the ones that are here to learn, right? And uh, again, you are a team. Okay, the idea is that everybody in this team, everybody learn. If you go to the next level, that all of you can go together. I don't want to miss or one of you cannot go to the next level. No, I want you to go together, okay? So that's why we need to help each other, all right? So remember that your actions will affect you, yes, but also will affect your classmates, okay? So think about that. Got it? Yes? Ok, después de ese llamado a la conciencia, <ríe> ok, let's start with today's class and I hope everybody participates. Well, do you remember the topics or the topic that we studied yesterday? Yes, no, a little bit. Oh my goodness. Maybe safety uh, equipment and measure. Correct, very good, exactly. That was uh, the topic. We were talking about security measures, specifically in a warehouse, very good. Also, if you remember, we practice the first conditional. Do you remember the first conditional? Yes? <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, only Lorena says yes. 
so she's the only one who remembers. My gosh. Let's have an exam. Yes? Or not? My gosh. <laughs> okay, let's have a practice. But first of all, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, you know what to do. Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Eh, Carlos Ernesto. I think he's listener. Okay. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Very good. Eulice Torres. Well, he's listener. Okay. Jose Salvador. I'm here. Very good. Josman Atilio. Present teacher. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Okay. Um, Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Okay. Santiago Roberto. All right. And Wilber Alberto. Uh, his listener. Okay. Pretty good. Well, let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Yes, can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, so guys, today is July 25th. And remember, we are basically in the last week. This is the last unit. So this is the topic that we are going to study today, adverbs to qualify verbs. So we need to identify, guys, what is the difference between nouns, adjectives, adverbs, and verbs, okay? So we are going to learn a little bit about it. So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Class objective, participants will be able to explain the relevance of an effective inventory management and practice using adjectives and adverbs. Thank you, very good. So we are going to divide it into parts. We are going to describe the effective inventory, but then we are going to use adjectives and adverbs. We need to see what the difference is, okay? But before starting, let's have a a last review about the first conditional. Let's see if you remember. I have some sentences. You just have to choose the correct answer. Let's imagine that this is an exam. So let's see if you get a good score. Okay. Uh, can you see the exercise? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Look at the first one. If you, what do you think? Want live or don't live? Future or present? Don't live. Don't live. Don't live. Okay. Don't live. If you don't live now, you will miss the train. You'll miss. You'll miss the train. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Number two, Peter. Passes. Passes. Okay. Pass. Peter passes his exams. Is he? Will work hard. Will work hard. Are you sure? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, later we are see if your answers are correct or not. Um, I will ask him individually. Osman, number three. Okay. If if it rains tomorrow, we go, we will go to the cinema. Are you sure? Yes, teacher. Okay, pick someone, please. 
okay, let me let me see, let me see. Victim. <laughs> hey, my friend Boris. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Buddy, <laughs> number four. The teacher. The teacher will be angry. Okay. If you I'm so I'm sorry, yeah, I I I, I shame. The okay. teacher is the teacher is angry if you if you, you will you, if you yes, will yes. late yes, again will. or if you arrive late again. Like this, if you will late again. Uh, is, is, Oh, oh, you, you, late. Uh -huh. If you're late again. You, like, yes. Okay. Bodies, pick someone, please. Is, uh, uh, Carlos. Uh, Carlos, I think Carlos is listener. If I'm okay. Listening. And uh, Elias. Okay. Elias, number five. I I tell tell I'll tell I, I'll tell, I'll in tell. Future, okay. I'll tell her the news if I see like this yes okay Elias pick someone uh Nelson okay Nelson uh, I'm not sure if Nelson is listener or not I'm here. Excellent, very good. Okay, Nelson. Uh, I'll have some takeaway this evening. If I finish work uh, late. Okay, if I'll finish or if I finish? No, if I finish. Simple present or future? Simple present. Okay, so I have. I'll takeaway. have. I'll have like this. Sorry. Okay, I'll have some takeaway this evening if I finish work late. Yeah. Okay, pick someone, please. Uh, Salvador. Okay, Salvador, number seven. What will be the answer? Don't practice. If you don't practice more, you won't improve okay like this are you sure okay yes. salvador pick someone please rafael okay rafael number eight if we don't catch the bus we'll be late like this, are you sure? Yes. Okay, pick someone, please. Um, let me see. Hey, Pamela. Okay, Pamela, number nine. Oh, remember that might is a modal. So if you say might, for example, I'm, I'm going to write it and explain this. Might is similar to say will or to say may. They are models for future, okay? So basically they mean the same. In this sentence, if you say might, just imagine that instead of might, it says will, okay? So it's the same. So Pamela, what will be the answer here? You will have an accident or you have an accident? Mm, you might have an accident if you if you drive so fast. Okay. Pick someone please. This is the last one. Um Hos Hosman? 
Okay, Josman, are you there? Okay. Is you is you want? If you want to arrive, to arrive early, we'll take the train. We'll take the train like this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So guys, that is the exam. Are you sure that your answers are correct, or would you like to change one sentence? What do you think? Yes, teacher. I, I think that it's necessary to change some. Which ones? Uh, for example, number two mm -hmm. is necessary switch because uh, when the sentences with if is in simple present and the present is in which. Ah, look at that one. What Lorena says, guys, this is something that you have to keep in mind. What is the structure when we are using the first conditional? Remember, I need a sentence with if. The sentence with the word if, is the sentence in simple present or is the sentence in simple future? In simple present. Exactly. In simple present. Then I need another sentence and the other sentence is in future. But remember, in this case, guys, we can change the order and I can switch. I can put this sentence, the ones that is in future, I can put it at the beginning and the next sentence is at the end, right? But you have to keep in mind, the ones that is with if is always in simple, present. So in the case of the sentence number two, Peter, do I have the word if in this sentence? Yes or no? No. Peter will. No. I don't have, right? The word if is in the second sentence. So which sentence will be in future? The sentence number one? Or the sentence number two? Number one. The number, number one will be in future. So, yeah. Peter. Uh -huh. pass. Will pass. Will pass. Will pass. Will pass. Peter will pass his exam. Now we have the word is. That means that this sentence will be in future or in present. In present. In present. In present. In present. Works. Peter will pass his exam if he works hard. Works hard. Okay. Now, is there another sentence that you would like to or now are they correct? Number number four. Number is, four. Number four is uh Okay, this is the change. same example, right? I have the teacher. Do I have the word if here? Not really. No. Right? So what will be the sentence? Will be. Will okay, be. the teacher will, will be. be angry. Arrive. If arrive. you arrive <laughs> late again. Late <tomorrow>. again. <laughs> that is not true, okay? <laughs> or well, maybe. The teacher will be angry if you arrive late again tomorrow. Is that true? I don't think so. <laughs> Well, we never know. We never know. Okay, is that correct? Yes? Yes. Okay. Is there any other sentence that you would like to change? Or now we are fine. What do you think? Yes? Are they correct? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see how many correct answers you have. Ten to the ten. Ooh. Okay, it seems that there is one sentence that is not correct. Let's see which one. 
Okay, if you want to arrive earlier, we'll take the train. Well, in that case, let me uh, refresh the exercise to see it better. Oops. Let me try to share again, just to see what the mistake was. Well, basically, that is the correct answer. If you, uh, can you see the exercise? The earlier. What happens in this sentence, guys, is missing something. It's missing the subject. You will take the train. But the structure is okay. So maybe this is a mistake of the website, but it's all right. So easy or difficult, the exercise? What do you think? Is it? Yes? No? Okay. So that is one exam. <laughs> Let's see how about listening. Now, guys, I'm going to play an audio. Okay. You are going to listen to four conversations. Okay. So you have to tell me what happened if. For example, in the conversation, number four says, Where will they play if it rains? Okay. In the conversation two, the question is, what will the woman do if it rains? So we have conditionals here. Pay attention to the audio and choose the correct answer. Okay? To avoid interferences, everybody, please keep the microphones off. If you cannot listen to the audio, let me know, okay? Let's start. Here we go. Conversation one. Are we still playing football on Tuesday? Yes, I think so. Why do you ask? Well, the weather forecast says it will rain. Well, if it rains, we will play in the gym. I'll send an email to everyone explaining this. Do you think we will have enough players? Yes, I think so. We need eight players to play. If we don't get enough players, we will cancel, though. Do you think we will get enough players to play? I think so, but if we don't, I'll let everyone know. Conversation 2 I'm having a party on Saturday. Would you like to come? I would love to if I have time. I might be busy, though. Well, the party will go until midnight, so please come if you have time. Thanks. Should I bring anything? No, I think I have everything covered. But you can bring extra drinks if you like. Okay. Can I park at your house? Parking might be a problem, so if you can, I would take the subway. Okay, I will do that. If it's raining, though, just call and I'll pick you up from the station. Thanks. No need, though. If I need to, I will just grab a taxi. Great. I hope you can make it. I'll try my best, but if I can't, I'll let you know. Conversation 3. What are your plans for tonight? Well, if there's something good on Netflix, I will watch a movie. What about you? I think I will go to the gym if I have enough energy. What do you do at the gym? I take a spinning class. Oh, that sounds fun. It is, but it starts at 7, so unless I finish my work on time, I can't go. Well, you better get busy then. Yes, I know. Conversation 4. What are your plans for the winter holiday? I want to go skiing if there's enough snow. Oh, that sounds fun. Who will you go with? I'll go with my parents and a few friends if they can make it. What about you? I will likely stay home. I might work on my novel if I feel like it. Oh, I didn't know you were writing a book. Yeah, this is my third one. I try to keep it secret. Really? I had no idea. What books have you written? Well, I'll tell you, but only if you promise to keep it a secret. I promise. So, what is the book? Well. All right. I know that the audio sounds like very low, but could you get the answers? Everyone? Oh, teacher, we never gonna know how no 
Uh, which book the man is reading? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sorry. Yes, I know, I know. That is <laughs> okay. Um, do you have the answers or do you want to listen it to one more yeah. time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One more time? Okay. Or, I'm going to, I'm going to play it again. I'm sorry that the audio sounds like very low, so let's try to keep active listening, okay? Here we go. One more time. Microphone soft, please. Everybody, microphones up. Thank you. Here we go. Conversation one. Are we still playing football on Tuesday? Yes, I think so. Why do you ask? Well, the weather forecast says it will rain. Well, if it rains, we will play in the gym. I'll send an email to everyone explaining this. Do you think we will have enough players? Yes, I think so. We need eight players to play. If we don't get enough players, we will cancel, though. Do you think we will get enough players to play? I think so. But if we don't, I'll let everyone know. Conversation 2 I'm having a party on Saturday. Would you like to come? I would love to if I have time. I might be busy, though. Well, the party will go until midnight, so please come if you have time. Thanks. Should I bring anything? No, I think I have everything covered, but you can bring extra drinks if you like. Okay. Can I park at your house? Parking might be a problem, so if you can, I would take the subway. Okay, I will do that. If it's raining, though, just call and I'll pick you up from the station. Thanks. No need, though. If I need to... I will just grab a taxi. Great. I hope you can make it. I'll try my best, but if I can't, I'll let you know. Conversation 3 What are your plans for tonight? Well, if there's something good on Netflix, I will watch a movie. What about you? I think I will go to the gym if I have enough energy. What do you do at the gym? I take a spinning class. Oh, that sounds fun. It is, but it starts at seven. So unless I finish my work on time, I can't go. Well, you better get busy then. Yes, I know. Conversation four. What are your plans for the winter holiday? I want to go skiing if there's enough snow. Oh, that sounds fun. Who will you go with? I'll go with my parents and a few friends if they can make it. What about you? I will likely stay home. I might work on my novel if I feel like it. Oh, I didn't know you were writing a book. Yeah, this is my third one. I try to keep it secret. Really? I had no idea. What books have you written? Well, I'll tell you, but only if you promise to keep it a secret. I promise. So, what is the book? Well... Okay, so everybody, do you have the answers ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, in the number one, where will they play if it rains? In the gym. In the gym. If, if it the rains, uh -huh. in the gym. They will play in the gym. Very good. That's the correct answer. If you chose that one, you got one point. Very good. Number two, what will the woman do if it rains? If it rains, the woman will take a taxi. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, yes I agree. Yes, teacher. Absolutely. Absolutely right. For sure. Totally. Very good. Exactly right. She will take a taxi. Okay. Will the men go to the gym? Yes. If he, if he has the energy. Are you sure? Let her be. No. no. Let be. Yes, if he has Let the time. Let her be. Time. Has the time. Has the time. Hmm, okay, I have people with different opinions. Some of you say if he has the energy. 
And some of you think that is if he has the time. Interesting. So what is the final answer? A or A. 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 The correct answer is letter A. He has the energy. Okay. So if you pick that one, you have a point. Very good job. Okay, number four. Who will likely stay at uh, stay home over the holidays? The man or the, the woman? Man. The man. Are you the man. sure? The man. Yes. The man. The man. Yes, the man. that is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. How many correct answers did you have? All of them? Or three or four? Two or four? One or four? Three or four. Three or four, okay. Four of four. Yes. Four of four, okay. And you guys, did you pass the listening exam? Three and four. Three or four, okay, but that is not so bad. Three and four. Excellent. Three. Easy or difficult, the audio? <laughs> difficult? Okay, I know that it was easy, difficult because the audio was very low. But it was easy to understand. It is easy to understand the first conditional, everyone. Yes? Any questions so far about the first conditional? No, teacher, it's all right. Excellent. Okay, a question, the last question, and let's move on with the next topic. What will you do on vacation if you have free time. Mm -hmm. What will you do on vacation if you have free time? If I have free time on vacation, I will go to the beach. Okay, sounds good. Uh -huh, guys, and you? Uh huh. What else? In my case, um, I do not have a vacation because I go. <laughs> okay. But imagine that you will have free time. What will you do if you have free time if you don't have to work? If I have free time on vacation, I will uh, visit my grandmother. Where does she live? In La Union. Oh, very far. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good, very good. Participate, who else? What will you do if you have the free time? If I have a free time but vacation. On vacation? On vacation. I will take a lot of rest at home. Also, uh, I will go to the restaurant. Ah, sounds good. Anyone else? Or only sleep? Practice English, right? I, I will practice my English to be ready for the next level. Come on. Okay, that was I the will, first I, condition. Uh-huh. I, I will free in the holidays you will what i'm sorry i will trip trip you will have a you will have a trip yes and ah, in the holiday okay. i am visit visit uh, uh, my how do you say prima cozy cozy i i i will i, 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 I will visit i will visit my cousin. cousin. Okay, where? Where does she live? She live in Los in Los Angeles. Sounds good. Excellent. So you see, guys, you are using the first conditional. Remember that when we use first conditional, this is for possibilities, possibly results possibly futures 
actions. Is it clear? Yes? Any questions so far? No questions? Okay, pretty good. Let's move on then, guys, topics, and we are going to combine them, okay? We are going to see how to use adverbs to qualify verbs, but let's start checking how can we have an inventory manage, a management system, okay? I have some questions for you. Does your company, guys, handle items with expiration dates? What do you think? Yes or no? Do you work with uh, items, with products which has expiration dates? Yes no or no? That is my case because uh, we sell uh, spare parts. Ah, okay. And they never expire? Mm. Yeah, yes. but, <laughs> but for example, the chemical products uh, expire, is, is, uh, how do you say? Expire? Expire uh, uh, in 12 years, for example, and never that happened. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. And you guys? Does your company handle items with expiration dates? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. The, my product no expiration date because it's a, I have the product, uh, the technology, because ah. the, have the seven and eight new product because the new characteristic mm -hmm. evolution does a, a short time. Okay, okay. Who else? Anyone else? Yes, I'm sorry. Teacher. My friends. I'm sorry. Okay, Lorena, continue and then Osman. Okay, in my case, I work with uh, medicine and cosmetic, uh -huh. cosmetic uh -huh. mm -hmm. and both have its expiration date. Interesting, okay. Osman? Uh, teacher, in my company, um, there is a, there is a, a, hit, a brand. Uh, all, all teachers uh, wear, uh, take, take a brand. Yeah? Mm -hmm. for, uh, for example, the, the size. In my company, we, we, ca uh, we, we call it a uh, heat transfer. Okay. Uh, this, this, uh, uh, labor is 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 like like a labor labor. This labor uh, uh, need 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 to be in in a room uh, uh, around uh, twenty grados centigrados. I don't know how do you say twenty centigrades. Twenty centigrades. Also, uh, this this item has. Uh, uh, expiration, expiration date. Ah, uh, okay. So look at because, the guys. Uh huh. Because uh, this this uh, label uh, is out, is out. Uh, if they mm -hmm. don't 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 no pega, no pega bien. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, does, it it doesn't paste well. Yes, yes. Okay, right. Anyone else? Does your company, guys, work with products uh, which it has expiration dates or not? Anyone else? No? Okay, for the companies who work with expiration dates, what happens, guys, to the products that go out of the season. We already studied this vocabulary, okay? Expiration dates, go out of season. So what do you think? Teacher, what does the company do? Excuse me. Uh -huh. what of, what of, what of go out of the season is like uh, in Spanish, vencidos. Exactly. 
Let's see so okay. In this case, guys, what do you think? What happens with those products that expired, for example, or the products that become irrelevant in the market? I think if the products uh, are uh, full, mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, it's bad for the human. Yes. But what about the products, guys, that just go out of season? I mean, that they are not popular anymore. Think about the cell phones, okay? Because um, the models that we have right now that are very popular, I mean, in three years. <laughs> Don't nobody, like. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants them. Like they you. are out of season. They are totally irrelevant so what do you think guys what happened to that product any idea what do you think they becomes a it's a boy ball i don't remember the name it's a chable it's a paper disposal disposable yes disposable uh -huh. Some of those products uh, becomes uh, disposable, and some other uh, are a uh, more. Got trash? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, imagine that happens. What else? What do you think, guys? What happens with those products? Sometimes. Uh... In my case, is. Uh, okay, Lorena and Boris, go ahead. Okay, uh, sometimes uh, at the last of the period of season, mm -hmm. uh, get, give a, will give a, a less price uh -huh. for a buyer a faster. Okay, so basically they reduce the cost of yes. the product. Or give a, a souvenirs or another product, maybe. Or like a good promotion, for example. Okay, Boris, what about you? Uh, in our case, uh, the the in the oils, the oil is the the. The product that go up uh, is a um, is a uh, the oil is a reprocess reprocess reprocessor reprocessor again. What do you mean? Again. What do you mean? It's like oh, recycle. It, 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 yes, uh, is what and um, our product is a is a oil. It, it is the the the. The experience day is uh, the, 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 the right, the, the product in, in, in the plan, in the, in the reprocess again. Ah, okay. They are processes again, so you can use it one more yes. time. So basically yes. it's like recycle, right? They are like recycle and you can use it again. Ooh, okay, pretty okay. good. That's it. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, there are many articles. Uh, is experience, experience day? How do you say? Ex expiration uh, date? Expiration, expiration date. Oh, uh -huh. uh, These articles uh, lost their properties. Properties, yeah. Properties. Or, or the properties. characteristics. Or the characteristics, characteristics. And basically, they are not useful anymore, right? Yes. Some of those product guys, you cannot use it anymore because, as your classmate said, they lost their main characteristics, their properties. Okay. However, there are some products that you can recycle them. And unfortunately, there are so many products that they just go directly to the trash. Okay, pretty good, that's interesting. 
And this is important, guys, because remember, imagine that you are the managers. What happens with the companies if the products expire? Is that something good or bad? What do you think? It's bad. Why? Why do you think that is bad? Because have loss uh, really of good? your profit. Correct. If you don't sell the product on time, for example, I mean, you will lose money. Pretty good. Okay, let's keep a uh, pay attention here, please, about this conversation. It's about Sara. Sara is asking Ramon some tips, okay, um, about the basic of inventory control. So we are going to read this conversation. Let's try to pay attention so we can understand what is happening here. Uh, I will need volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? Volunteer for reading? Uh -huh. Me teacher. Okay, thank you. Who else? Okay, you will be Sarah, okay? Who else? Me. Okay, Elias, you will be Ramon. Let me try to do it bigger. So go ahead, let's start reading. How does inventory manage management work, Ramon? You need to have enough product in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have in storage. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new case for the Elphone X. Don't do it. Now that Elphone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory, because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Okay, do you understand the conversation, everyone? Yes? What is happening here? What is happening in this conversation? Explain me. Anyone? No. What is happening in the conversation? They yes. discuss uh, about the inventory that uh, we need have for uh, uh, for have disponible products, but it's necessary planify uh, the correct quantity for the cost of uh, having false caper or oh my god. <laughs> That's it. Okay, Um. before continue, guys, can you hear me very well? Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. yes. Okay, I'm sorry. What happens is that here in my city is raining so heavy. <laughs> so I know I don't know if my connection is working very well. So please, if you cannot hear me clearly, just let me know, okay? Okay. Now, if you pay attention to the conversation, let's answer this question. Number one, why is it important to have enough products in your inventory? Why, guys? According to the conversation, why? Why it is important to have enough products in your inventory? Any idea? It's important because uh, you have you, you need to get when the customer need it. Very good. You need to have enough products when your but customer it, need it. Yeah, that's pretty but, good. But in this conversation, I understand mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, we, we need to get a, a inventory more or less big, but don't, 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 not, not excess. Not excess. 
Like exactly. This. And that takes to the next question, everybody. It is a good idea to have an excess of inventory? Yes or no? no. Not oh, no. because not. Why not? No. We, we lost because that we lost much. Money. Ah, and look at the last question. What happens if you have too much inventory and the market trends suddenly change? What will happen? What will happen you with your money? You won't have enough for a profit and you will pay in a lot of much. You have the product storage. Okay. Fabela, what were you saying? Yes, you, you will have a lot of inventory, a lot of, of things, and you can't sell it. That's it. So that's why, guys, do you think that it is important to have a good inventory management? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher, we, we need yes. to have a a, a good inventory manage, management. Definitely. It's necessary. It's necessary. At the contrary, we, you will lose money. Yes, okay. We, we, have, we need to have uh, the balance. Correct. Balance, balance. Not too much, not too little. Not too okay. many products, but I mean, we need to have enough. It's like a balance. Pretty good. Excellent. Now, Talking about inventory management, here we got some words. Some of these words, you already know them, okay? So we are going to match these words with the correct definitions. Let's see if you remember the number one. Stock. Do you remember what was it? What was the meaning of stock? What do you think? Maybe merchandise keep in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? I agree with Lorena. Okay. Everybody? Okay. I will give you five minutes to answer. You can answer in your notebooks. Okay, match the words with the meanings. Okay, you have five minutes and then we're going to verify if your answers are correct or not. Go ahead. If you have a question or if there is a word that you don't understand, tell me. But remember guys, what I always mention, keywords. Okay, try to identify the keywords. Okay, is it clear the activity? Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Do you have five minutes? Go ahead.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. If you finish, let me know. Let's see. Remember that we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. I will be asking individually. Are you ready or no yet? Mm -hmm. No yet, teacher. No yet? Okay. No yet. I will be. give you to be. Okay. I will give um two more minutes for the one who hasn't finished. Okay. Read carefully. Remember, try to identify the keyword. Okay, ready, everybody? Yes. Let's see the number one. Okay, previously your classmate said that stock is the merchandise kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Is that correct, uh, correct guys, or do you have another option? I am agree. I am agree or I agree? I agree. I agree. Sorry. I agree. Okay. Let's see. And yes, very good. That is the correct one. Remember, when we are talking about stock, it's basically all the products that we are or we have available. 
Number two, let me ask individually. Uh, Wilbur, Wilbur, can you tell me the number two inventory tracking? A uh, software system used to keep record of inventory levels, other sales, and deliveries. Hmm. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, I agree. Yes, and the rest of you? I agree. That's correct. Pretty good. Wilbur, pick someone, please. Osman Hernandez. Thank you. Okay. Number three, please. I'm not sure, teacher, but uh, replenish store with fresh stock or suppliers. Okay, point of sale, you think that is replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies? Ah, no, no, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, number true. three. <laughs> I, 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 I did that. I did that, teacher. No so you, you don't have the number three? Okay. Maybe, maybe the time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Mm, okay. Is 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 more this op uh, is better. this option uh, this option is better. Could be. What do you think, everybody? I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Definitely. <laughs> and that is the one. Very good, Osman. Osman, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. 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 Uh, let me see. Uh, 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 uh. Nelson. Okay, Nelson, do you have the number four? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies. Do you agree, everybody? I agree. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Ah, very good. You are doing great with the vocabulary. Nice. Nelson, pick someone, please. Anna. Okay. <laughs> I wait for cha, it. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Number five. Spoilage is items with expiration date like food or even cosmetics that can become rotten or unusual if not sold in time. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? I agree. Absolutely. I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, right? When we are talking about spoilage, we are talking about those items, right? With expiration dates. Very good. Um, Lorena, pick someone, please. Rafael. Thank you, Rafael, number six, far levels. Number six, the amount that yeah. should be available at any time for an item. When an item falls below par, it is replenished. Do you agree, everyone? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Actually, right. it has the answer, right? I mean, we have the same word. Now, in the last one, first, in first out volunteer for reading the definition me teacher yes yes first in first out the oldest inventory items are recorded as sold prints all right look at oops <laughs> sorry look at this so basically, guys, this vocabulary is related to inventory management. This is some vocabulary, some of this word, we have been studying it. So please try to keep in mind the vocabulary, not just for the class, try to review the vocabulary, try to understand it. And of course, the idea is that we can try to use it. Got it? Yes? Easy or difficult, the exercise? Uh -huh. Easy. How, easy. How many correct easy. answers did you easy. have? 
Seven out of seven. Seven out of seven. Eight? <laughs> but we don't have eight. So basically, all, right. all, of, all of them, yes? Excellent. You are improving a lot. Remember, guys, when we have this type of exercises, we just try to keep the keywords. Okay? Now, let's move on. Uh, we are going to skip this exercise. And now, we are going to discuss a little bit about adjectives and adverbs. What is the difference, guys, between the adjectives and the adverbs? What is the difference? Because mm -hmm. I know the adjectives describe the subject. Ah, okay. But <laughs> I don't remember adverbs. <laughs> okay. And you guys? Adjective modify nouns. Mm -hmm. Adverb modify verb. Ah, good characteristic. Yes. Can you give me examples of adjectives? Black cats. Angry, angry dog. Mm -hmm. So house. black, angry, big. big what else? Small, yeah. short, small. Yeah. Okay. Yes, those are adjectives. Can you give me examples of adverbs? White. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Gantley. Yes. What else? What else? All of kind of adverbs. <laughs> All kind of adverbs. We have different types of adverbs. Let's, uh, I, I will give you an example and I'll know that you will easily tell me some. For example, we have adverbs Frequency. Can you tell me some adverbs of frequency? Always. Always. Ah, very good. Yeah, Always. Ah, those ones are adverbs. Okay. We have adverbs of manner. For example, happily, angrily, quickly. What else? Slowly, slowly, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and some others, like right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and some others. So we have different type of adverbs: adverbs of frequency, adverbs of manner, adverbs of time. I mean, there are different ones. Okay. What you have to keep in mind is the function, and that is what we are going to check today, okay? Let's start with the adjective. I need a volunteer for reading, please, the definition for adjectives. Yes, go ahead. Adjectives modify or describe nouns and pronouns. They usually come before nouns, but can be used after linking verbs such as be, become, feel, get, look, smell, sound, and taste. Okay, thank you, Pamela. Okay, pay attention, everyone. As your classmate mentioned before, the function of the adjectives is describe the nouns, the nouns or the pronouns. Basically, is just describe the subject, okay? And the characteristic is that they come before the nouns, okay? For example, if I want to say, yo tengo un carro rojo, how can I say that? I have a red car. Ah, look, it's before the nouns. Can I say, ah, I have a car red? Can I say that? No. No. It's before the noun. So I will say, I have a red car. Okay? So 
basically that is the characteristic of the adjectives okay for example look at this one amy has a lovely house lovely is the adjective and it becomes before of the noun a lovely house um tamara has a blonde hair blonde is the adjective and comes before the noun however they can go after some verbs if i have the verb to be the verb become the verb feel get look or smell sounds taste basically um our sense verbs in that case guys the adjectives goes after for example if i want to say ella es inteligente how can i say that Uh huh. She is smart. She. She is. Is smartly. Smart. smart. In that case, guys, look. They go after the verb to be. I cannot say something like Ah, she, uh, she is smart. Is <laughs> can I say this? No, right? In that case, the adjectives goes after. So that is the characteristics of the adjectives. They describe the subject and they go before the noun. Is it clear? Yes, everybody? Yes, teacher. Okay, now let's verify the function for the adverbs. Volunteer for reading, please. Adverbs. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Adverbs modify or describe verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. Many and with. Li. L Y. Mm -hmm. With like. With like. L, letter L, and the letter Y. Y. Mm -hmm. So okay. look at this. Look at the difference. The adverbs they don't modify the subject. The adverbs modify the verbs, but they can also modify the adjectives. They can other. They can modify to other adverbs too. Okay. We have different types of adverbs, but now we are going to check the adverbs of manners. The adverbs of manners are the ones that are ending in L-Y. For example, Tim walked slowly. What is the translation here? Tim walked Slowly. Team caminó despacio. Oh. Ah, ¿cómo camina Team? Despacio. Despacio, right? Or lenta. Mente. Mente. So, am I talking about Team or am I talking about the way that he walk? What do you think? I'm talking about Team. Or the way that team walk. It's talking about the way a team walk. Exactly. Estoy diciendo que team es lento o que camina lento. Camina. How is he walking? Exactly. I'm describing the way that he walk. So in this case, the adverb is describing the verb. Another example. Amelia talks loudly. What am I saying there? Amelia talks loudly. With. Mm -hmm. Mm 
I'm talking about Amelia or I'm describing the way that she talks. The way that she talks. Exactly. I'm describing the way that she talks. I'm describing the verb. That is the characteristic of the adverbs. They talk about the actions, not the subjects. Okay? And the last one, uh, Joey worked hard to pass his exam. Pay attention here, everybody. The characteristic and the description says many adverbs and in L-Y, but not all of them. For example, hard, can I say hardly? Hmm. No. Ah, he worked hardly. No, we cannot say that. We are going to say he worked hard. So not all of the adverbs will end in L-Y. Got it? Yes? Is it clear the difference between the adjectives and the adverbs, everybody? Teacher, um, yeah. en adjective, en, en, voy a decir en español, en adjetivo, si no lo tengo muy, muy claro, como cuando se va a usar. Lo voy a decir en español porque así mm -hmm. no lo entendí mucho, eh, cómo se usarlo. The adjectives. Yes, adjectives. Ah, ok. Easy, guys. Remember that the adjectives, basically, is going to give you characteristics about the subject. In this case, for example, Amy has a lovely house. I'm talking about the house. ¿Cómo es la casa de Amy? Lovely. 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 Entonces, la palabra lovely is describing the noun. ¿Cuál es el noun al que está describiendo? House. The house. House. This is the same, guys, if I'm talking about my dog. For example, I have a dog, okay? And I can say, I have a black dog. What is the characteristic of my dog? It's black. Black, black, black. right? That he is black. So, dog is the noun. And the adjective is just giving characteristics about the noun. Tell me about, for example, El Salvador. Give me a characteristic of El Salvador. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. El Salvador is... Beautiful. Beautiful. Also, uh, uh, El, Salvador, El Salvador is uh, a small country. All right, look, small. Compares, compares other countries. Comparing with, yes, definitely. What else can we say about El Salvador? Uh -huh. Any other characteristic about El Salvador? Okay, El Salvador, can we say is safe? Yes or no? What do you think? For the moment. <laughs> for the moment, yes. Yes, yeah, right? we yes can say a lot, that. a lot. Okay, so look, the adjectives are all of these ones. Basically, guys, the adjectives are the ones that give characteristics of a noun. Yes? Clear? Okay. Everybody? Yes? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Pretty good. Okay. Let's have some practice. Okay. And let's try to understand. There are some adjectives, guys, that they can transform into an adverb. For example, Happy. Happy is an adjective or is an adverb? 
Adjective. Adjective. It's an adjective. I can say she is happy. Okay. The kids. ¿Cómo son los niños? The kids are happy. Is a... mm -hmm. So I'm giving a characteristic of the kids. ¿Cómo son los niños? They happy. are happy. 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 Okay. He's allows. I'm sorry. Allow. Allow. He, he is allowed. What do you mean? Uh, niño ruidoso. Niño ah. ruidoso. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But in that case, if I want to say ruidosos, we say noisy. Noisy. <laughs> okay. That's another adjective. The kids are noisy. Nice. Now, if I want to take the adjective and transform it into an adverb, most of the time I just need to add L Y. Now, let's look at the difference. Happy adjective. What is the adverb? Happy. Happy. Happily. So we say happily. Ah, the kids are playing happily. What am I saying? The kids are playing happily. Lo están jugando algo yeah, jugando. divertido. Mm -hmm. sí. Okay, keep in mind, guys, that the L-Y is como cuando in Spanish we add mente, mente. mente. Okay? So, happy, happily. Feliz, happily mente. is? Mente. Felizmente. Yes, very good. In this case, I'm describing not the kids. I'm describing the verb, the way that they are playing. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. For example, if I say angry, what is the adverb? Uh -huh. Angrily? Yes, angrily. If I have uh, the adjective, for example, careful. What is the adverb? Carefully. 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 Pretty good. Can you think in another example? Mm -hmm. In this box, we have different ones. For example, smooth. Smooth is the adjective. What is the adverb? A smooth. A smoothly. Smoothly. Efficient. Efficiently. Efficiently. Casual. Casually. Quick. Quickly. Very good. Hopeful. Hopefully. Real. 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 Now, there are, of course, some exceptions. For example, good. We cannot say goodly. So, what will be the adverb? Well. Well. Okay? So, good is the adjective. Well is the adverb. So, we need to understand and try to identify when we need an adjective and when we need an adverb. That is the purpose for today's class. Here I had some sentences and I want you guys to choose the correct word to complete the sentences. You need to tell me if you need the adjective or if you need the noun. For example, Hannah shouted. What do you think? Do I need the adjective or the noun? Shouted loud or shouted loudly? To get Loudly. someone Loudly. Loudly. Loud. Loudly. Loudly. Loud or loudly? Loudly. Loudly. Why? 
because we are describing the activity. What is the activity? Because it's after the, the um, verb. Ah, okay. Look at this one. Remember that the characteristic of the adjective is that the adjective goes before the noun. So do I have a noun here? No. No, no it's Not a verb. really, right? A verb. So another way to, uh, that we can identify is, am I talking about Anna or... I'm talking about the way that she shouted. The way that she shout. Ah, so basically, guys, I'm talking about the action. ¿Quiénes describen la action? El adjective or the adverb? Adverb. Adver. The adverb. Exactly. So we are going to complete this exercise. Okay, I want you to read carefully, everybody, and try to decide if you need the adjective that is over here or if you need the adverb, okay? Again, I will give you five minutes to complete the exercises and then I will be asking individually. Let's see if you get the correct answers. Is it clear, the activity? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, everybody, you have five minutes. If you have a question, please just let me know. Read carefully. Read carefully. Try to understand. Teacher, uh, can you repeat the the rule, please? The rules. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. You... The adjectives modifies the noun, so that means that they go before a noun. The adverb, on the other hand, they modify the actions or another adverb or another adjective. Most of the time, they are ending in L, Y. Hey, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody, if you have a question, just let me know, please.
read carefully, everyone. If you have a question, just let me know. Read carefully, read carefully. Do you have any questions? Are you ready or not yet? Mm -hmm. You ready or not yet? Not yet. Okay, I will give you more time, no worries. Okay, ready, everybody? Yes? Okay, let's see if we can check the answers. Um, I will be asking individually. Let me pick the first one. Let's see, let's see. Okay, Pamela, can you see the number two? Can you read it, please? Number two. 
the weather was extremely hot today, hot that day. Okay, so in that case, Pamela said extremely. Extremely is the adjective or the adverb? The adverb. The adverb. The adverb. So do you agree, everybody? Yes, teacher. I agree. Totally. In this case, am I describing the weather or am I giving characteristic about what? What I'm talking about. I'm modifying the weather or I'm modifying the word uh, the word hot. We no, are hot. Modified the weather. I'm modifying hot. Okay. Hot. I'm not saying that the weather is extreme. No. I'm saying that hot is extreme. That means extremely hot. Estoy dando como una extra característica a hot. Y hot is a noun or hot is an adjective? What do you think? Adjective. It's an adjective. adjective. ¿Quién modifica? ¿Quién puede modificar un adjective? Another adjective or an adverb? Adverb. An adverb. Exactly. Very good job. Pamela, pick someone, please. Um, Jose Salvador. Thank you. Okay, Salvador, can you read the number three? Lawrence is a serious person. He doesn't laugh much. Okay, serious. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Yes, I yes. Agree. yes I agree. In this case, I'm describing a noun. What is the noun? Lawrence, the person. Mm, look, person. Person is a noun or is an adjective? It's a noun. It's, it's a, noun. a noun. Who describes the nouns? The adjectives. Very good. So if you pick serious, that's the correct one. Salvador, can you pick someone, please? Lorena. Thank you. Lorena, number four, please. Uh, Isabel doesn't speak very clearly. I often can't understand her. Okay, clearly. Do you agree, guys? I agree. I agree. I'm talking about Isabel or I'm talking about the way that she speaks. The, the way, she the way that she speaks. Correct. Exactly. So that's why I need the adverb. Very good. Uh, Lorena, pick someone, please. Kevin. Kevin, number five. Can you read it, please? We have a, a strong rela relationship. We've been together for mm -hmm. 10 years. Okay. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? We have a strong relationship. I agree. Yes? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. In this case, I have the word relationship. Is relationship a noun? Yes or no? Yes. 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 And the ones that modify the noun is the adjective. So that's why, yes, totally correct, strong. Okay, Kevin, pick someone. Um, Rafael. Thank you, Rafael. Can you read the number six, please? Betty was very gently with the rabbit and didn't hold and tightly. Okay, gently. The adverb? Yes. Do you agree, everybody? Uh, gentle. No. Gentle. Okay, do I need the adjective or do I need the adverb? The adjective. The adjective. adjective. In this case, the correct one is the adjective. Why? Because in this case, I'm talking about Mary. How is Mary? Mary is? It's gentle. gentle. With the rabbit. Exactly. A noun. 
So I'm talking about a noun. I'm describing Mary, okay? So that's why I need the adjective. Pretty good. Sure. Uh, yep. Excuse me, what happened with the rule when we need to put before the adjective, before uh, the noun? Ah, very good observation. Let's go back to the rules. If you remember the rules, guys, pay attention here, please, everybody. It says that they usually come before the nouns, but sometimes what happens if we have a specific verbs? If you have these verbs, the adjectives go after that. And I here I got an example. Paul or Paulo, and I have the verb to be. If I have the verb to be, what happens with the adjective? The adjective is after. And that is the example that I was telling you before. Ah, she is smart or she is intelligent. Ah, El Salvador is small. If I have one of these verbs, the adjective goes after that verb. Got it? Yes? Got it, teacher. Thank you. Cool. You're very welcome. If you see, guys, let's go back to the exercise. In this exercise, it says, Mary was. Do I have the verb to be here? Yes. Yes. That's why the adjective will go after that. Got it? Yeah? Yes. All right. Number seven. I need a volunteer, please. Me? Tell me. Yes, go ahead. Oliver asked her to answer the question honestly. Honestly. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. I agree. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Very good. And the last one, volunteer, please. Me? Uh, me. Okay, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Robert is very physical fit. Physical fit. Do you agree, everyone? I agree. I agree. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. But I but uh, uh, I have a doubt. But <laughs> he's physical, yeah. Okay, so Roberta is very physical fit. Translate the sentence, please. Roberta está en muy buena forma física. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay, pay attention here. We have the word fit. Fit is a noun. Is that an adjective? Is that an adverb? Is that a verb? It's what adjective? is fit? It's an adjective. adjective. Can I put an adjective before another adjective? No. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you think? Do I need the adjective or do I need a noun? Look at the translation. I'm going to I'm... use physical, the adjective. Okay, Roberta está... Física en forma, or muy física en forma. Hmm, that is it with Físicamente the Físicamente en forma. Ah, interesting. So which one sounds better, física en forma o físicamente en forma? Físicamente. Ah, físicamente. So in this case, guys, the correct one is? Physical. Physically, okay? Because we are modifying, look, fit and modifying another adjective. Got it? Yes? 
Got it. Okay. Thank How you. many correct answers did you have? All of them? Seven of eight. Seven of eight. Okay. Sounds good. And you guys? Seven of eight. Eight. Seven of eight too? Okay. Six and eight. Okay. Six of eight. Six of eight, okay. So we are going to continue practicing this topic. It is important guys, because we need to know how to use correctly every word. Sometimes when we are talking, we are using adjectives when we need to use adverbs. So we need to be very careful with that. Now. Let's continue with the next exercise, but before that, I'm going to check attendance again. Or did I check attendance the second time? No, right? No, no, no right. Okay, no, when you listen to your names, please say present. Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Boris Alexander? Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto? Okay. Present you. teacher. Excellent, thank you. Carlos Ernesto, well, his listener. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Very good. Eulice Torres. Well, okay, thank you. Very good. Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Josman Atilio. Okay. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. The last attendance, I I was uh, in a call. Ah, uh, okay. No worries. Sorry. I will add the attendance right now. Okay, Pamela. I'm uh, sorry, Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Okay. Okay. Santiago Roberto. Okay. And Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, because of the time, we don't have a lot of time, but the presentation. Can you see the numbers? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, Under teacher. these numbers, I have some adjectives but also I have some adverbs. If you find an adjective, you have to tell me a sentence using that word, okay? It can be an adjective or a noun. Do I have a volunteer? Quickly, because of the time. Me, teacher. Thank you. That's the attitude, Elias. Give me a number. 10. Okay. Politely, is that an adjective or a noun? I'm sorry, an adjective adverb. or an adverb? Adverb. An adverb. adverb. Mm -hmm. Elias, tell me a sentence. Oh, uh, my. Uh, <laughs> um, get. Uh -huh. When I get, no, when I got to my job, Ten me ten ten mind before um uh, the hour is politely correct. Okay, uh, arrive to your job ten minutes before is politely correct. That's what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, politely is politicamente. Mm-mm. No, my... What is politely, guys? Maybe cortésmente. Cortésmente, oh. educada, mente. Oh, ah. Sorry, guys. Okay. Maybe the, my mother speak politely. Very mm -hmm. good. Yes. If you see in that sentence, we are giving a characteristic, not about her mom, but about the way that she speaks. Very good. Thank you, Lorena. And thank you for trying, Elias. Elias, pick someone, please. Uh, Wilbur. Wilbur, give me a number. Six. Six. 
<laughs> oh, look. <laughs> okay, we have polite. Polite is the adverb or is the adjective? Is the adjective. Okay, give me a sentence using polite. The teacher is polite with us. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Okay, we have one more minute for someone else. Wilbur, pick someone. The last one, and we finish with this. Okay, Jose Salvador. Thank you, Salvador. Give me a number. Number one. Number one. Angry, Salvador. Is that the adjective or an adverb? Mm, adjective. So, give me a sentence using angry. John is angry. Very good. Yes. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have more time, everybody. We are going to continue with this topic tomorrow, but it's very important to identify the difference between adjective and adverbs. Now, before leaving, good job. I can see more people with the camera on today. I could listen more participation. So I expect that you continue in that way, okay? Do you okay. have any questions okay. before leaving, everybody? Uh, no. Good night. Okay. Have a wonderful night, everybody, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.